We are ready for this storm. We'll be prepared for this. Confident words from the head of ERCOT on what could be the most consequential winter weather event since last February's storm and resulting power outages that led to the deaths of more than 200 Texans. We have been working to improve communications to make sure that during the storm you get one message from the folks in the industry and not several. ERCOT and the PUC insisting all power generators have been inspected and additional power has been brought online to make sure the lights stay on. We know that the reforms we have put in place over these last few months ensure that our grid is reliable and ready for this winter weather event. We will continue operating the grid in a conservative fashion by bringing on more reserves for an increased margin of safety and by operating an abundance of caution so that we have more supply sooner rather than later. Railroad Commissioner Jim Wright insisting natural gas plants are winterized too, so fuel will get to those power plants. That we've, we've introduced ways of, of not having things freeze up like methanol, heating blankets, heat tracing lines, those kinds of things. Governor Abbott says the greatest power demand will likely come Friday morning. He warned of outages unrelated to the grid, such as from downed trees, but when pressed on the issue, no one, no one can guarantee that there won't be a quote uh, load shed event. On the roads, TxDOT says they're prepared. They've been pre-treating roads since Sunday, and on Tuesday treated roads that were impacted by Monday's rain. Despite efforts with pre-treatment, we cannot guarantee 100% that roads won't have unsafe conditions on them, and so it's very important that motorists. Be aware of those road conditions, drive to those road conditions, slow down, and if you do not have to get out when the roads are icy or snow covered, please don't. Officials urging Texans to plan ahead and protect the four P's, people, pets, pipes, and plants. This is going to be a very cold event and the wind chills could be deadly. We want to make sure that anybody that's in the way has a warm place to go.